Hi everybody, my name is Chris Porter and Jose Patino and I decided to do our project on Network and Computer Systems Administrator. We, would, we thought you might be curious as to what kind of pay you can expect, the degrees you'll need, and the working conditions you'll encounter while being an administrator. Here's an overview of the job. In 2012, the average pay was about $73,000. You'll need a bachelor's degree. There were about 370,000 jobs or so in 2012. The outlook for administrators is that it is growing at about 12% per year and we can expect another 43,000 jobs or so in the next 10 years. Some of the things you'll have to do as an administrator is be responsible for the operations of computer networks and you'll need to be able to determine what's necessary for an organization's network and their computer systems before they're ever even set up. You'll also install all network hardware and software and make needed upgrades and repairs. You'll need to be able to maintain network and computer system security and ensure that all systems are operating correctly. Collecting data and evaluating the network and system performance to make it work better and faster is also in your job description. And of course you'll need to solve problems quickly when a user or an automated monitoring system lets you know about a problem. The environment you can expect to be working in is a little bit odd. It's not a 9 to 5 job. You'll be working outside of normal business hours to resolve problems, to apply fixes, and that sort of thing. You'll also work with many other types of workers. You'll often interact with network architects, IT management, and also organizations non-IT staff. You can expect to be employed in many industries including educational institutions, hospitals, banks, large corporations, and government agencies. So what does it take to become an administrator? Well, you're most likely going to need your bachelor's degree and in a field related to computer or information science is most common. However, a degree in electrical engineering or computer engineering is also acceptable. And these programs usually include classes in computer programming, networking, and systems design. Some positions require an associate's or a post-secondary certificate in a computer field with a related work experience. Certification is a way to show a level of competence. And the most common certifications are offered from Microsoft, Red Hat, and Cisco. Important qualities you're going to need as an administrator is the skills to evaluate network and system performance and determine how changes in the environment will affect it. Communication skills are a must-have for any administrator because you're going to have to describe problems and their solutions in non-technical jargon to people who wouldn't understand the technical aspect of what you do. You also need to oversee the connections of many types of computer equipment and ensure they all work together properly. Multitasking. You're going to be working on many things at one time. And you're also going to need to have some problem solving skills because you're going to have to quickly resolve network issues in order to get the network back up. So again, the job outlook for administrators is it's expected to grow at about 12% every year. So positions in 2012, there were about 370,000, and there's going to be about 410,000 in the next 10 years. The bottom line up front here is there's going to be about 43,000 new jobs created. All you need is one. Maybe two, if you got a lot of kids. Pay. Here's what everybody wants to know. 
the median wage for a computer and network administrator in 2012 was $72,560. There's also big money to be made in computer systems design and related services. Finance and insurance also paid very well. Here's the median salaries based on the industry the administrator was employed in, manufacturing, healthcare, and education. Similar occupations also paid very well. Are there any questions? We hope this has been informative. Here's some of our sources and we thank you for your time.